Welcome back to comics, to Hot Comics TV, and the art of Brian Boland, one of the most important artists from England that has graced the comic book market. This man, I don't think he needs any introduction other than he's one of the best artists for Judge Dredd for 2000 AD. He broke into the industry that way. And I bought this book because for a long time I remember seeing the Batman cover. That, that's the man himself. Um, the Batman cover artwork was amazing every time I used to see it. Um, just amazing work. I, 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 I could not tell who had done it. I knew the name Bolan, but then later on I researched and I found that he was one of the... Um, creators of Judge Dredd on the series of Judge Dredd for 2000 AD. <clears throat> this book's got a lot of good material, a lot of stuff, background that he has, that he did, and <laughs> there's a man and his long hair days. He's a amazing, amazing accomplished illustrator as much as comic book creator the man just does great amazing work i guess these are some of the um influences that he had growing up so we got um alberto breca of brescia jesus blanco i think i hmm anyway so these are very early drawings. Nice stuff. Early work from seventy one. Hmm. British comics. Nice. I mean, the way that he's inking, see, this is the thing. You can do any pencil work you can, and it's going to be amazing. But being able to flex that out of the muscle to come in and ink that, you got to learn that as well. So it's not um, to do this hatching, to do this elaboration on muscle definition. And he's obviously working off reference there, but it's just... That's the stuff. It's his old studio. Power Man. And the British flavor that they bring in, it's very different to the American counterpart of art when you see it. So well accomplished. Comic Con seventy six. The command of black and white that he does is just um, absolutely, absolutely amazing. Just love this so much. All right, 2000 AD, huh? It's 
amazing. So it's 77, okay. <laughs> Judge Dredd. Don't do it, Brian. Don't do it. <laughs> Vampire Circus. I'm Walter Try Me. Beautiful work. I bought this a long time ago. I don't can't remember when I got this. But I got it only because I knew it was Brian Bolin and I love Brian Bolin. To see all these old material is just absolutely great. Yeah, this is Judge Dredd. One of your early tales. The character design, everything, anything that you can think of that's outrageous, this man is fleshing it out and bringing it. Just outstanding stuff. cannot stop saying that like the inking process that this man brings to the table is just outstanding and I know there will be criticism saying oh it's really rigid blah 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 that's not enough movement no 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 I don't think so I think he's bringing that also to the table on top of the character design just so well done love this. Hold on, is that Marvel stuff? Yeah, this is Marvel. Oh no, this is a mixture of things. Forbidden Planet. Look okay, how he's being able to flex celebrities and they look like the real deal. So cool. <laughs> Outstanding. Just outstanding. Fine art. Who would have thought, huh? He's so accomplished. His illustrations, when you see the color stuff, like Tank Girl, wow. Wow, a spaghetti monster, huh? The, yeah, Judge Death. All these characters for the Judge Dread lore are outstanding horror conceptual designs. I mean, look at all the designs. It's just amazing the way that he's fleshing it out and making it look cool look at these characters every single one of them it's outstanding here we go the four judges judge death 
Mm, fear, Mortis, and Fire. Just outstanding. Could blow that into a mural. <laughs> I always say that. Uh, and that's Judge Anderson, yeah. She's dealing with all of these in, in that story. Judge Anderson, the psychic. I'm gonna take a look at Judge Dredd. She's beautiful stuff. Yeah, I mean, look at these covers. Let's take a look, a closer look. Look at that. It's amazing. Yeah, Camelot two, uh, 3000, though, that was amazing. I did a video about that. Please go take a look. Camelot th uh, 3000 was my introduction to Brian back in the day. Just amazing. Just amazing work. Even the panel breakdown on pencils just... So well defined. He's tough, but he's <laughs> I love that. Oh man. This is his own work. This is um, the actress and the bishop, which is a English saying. I f I remember what it was, and then I forgot what it means. <laughs> Look at the workload that this man's doing. Just amazing. You want weird science fiction monsters in your cover? Well drawn, get Brian Boland to do it for you. Just amazing work. Look at that. Outstanding. Just outstanding. He self inserts himself onto the um, into the uh, actress and the bishop. Very cool. Obviously, the killing joke. Probably the best, greatest Batman illustrated story of all time. I cannot think of anything else that would contain that. You can argue with me about this in the comments. Please tell me if you think that there's a better illustrated Batman story 
other than that and the killing joke i mean you got alan moore and then you got Bolin together i mean how do you fight that for my money what brian Bolin brings into that into the um into the killing joke is just insane the detail how well drawn that's all done the expression the, the, the craftsmanship that he brings onto the table batman looks like the dark knight and joker's beginning so we got a morris pro he uh, prohibited love okay comic con the spanish edition i guess the actress and the bishop there it is beautiful detail work i mean i remember seeing this i got the floppy and the hardcover again i highly recommend to get that just for the auto lawn it's a very short story and he's one of the first adopters adopters of technology because he moved on the 90s into doing full digital stuff like this print illustration i think that no no this is still analog mm, the wonder woman series i always regret not buying the wonder woman uh covers just like the comics the floppies just for the art for the cover art. Our sack making a comment to Mobius. Working off reference. Yeah. So this is one of those early ones that he started to apply digital coloring yeah the new look of the new wonder woman yeah that one which they ended up giving her a leather jacket that's amazing that cover there so this is when he's starting to experiment digitally still analog illustration something yeah yeah tanker these are like actual illustrations he my god the process that he would have used he would have airbrush use acrylics just amazing this cover like, blows my mind every time i see it, the detail that he's done with it outstanding oh yeah the short story see again mid 90s that's i remember seeing the covers for doom patrol and then seeing stuff like this it's all digital it's just Outstanding work. The man is just unbelievable. Yeah. Invisibles. Yeah. Fully embrace the digital process. Mm. Yeah, blood of water. Mm. Yeah, this is amazing. Put these floppy. 
so well elaborated this illustration this digital illustration I mean he's done the inking and then he's gone through the digital process but the digital process is not intrusive to what he's doing it's complementing the pencil work <laughs> yeah the Alan Moore tribute that's him drawing himself talking to Alan Moore <laughs> Alan Moore says like giant wizard man mmm the strips this is so good The man has traveled the world. Yeah, you would have to have a morgue file to be able to sort of do the type of rendering that he does. That's a man in his family. Nice. Well, there it is. All right, the art of Brian Bolan, everybody. I hope you liked it as much as I enjoy it, showing it to everybody. This is about sharing. And um, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe on all those good things. Till next time, take care. Bye bye.